the fourth part of this drone tutorial explain how to embed the digital elevation model with the SRTM model from the internet. We open Global Mapper and as a very first step we check that the projection is to the right one. For that you go to Tools, Configures, Projection and you check I have 37 which is fine for Syria but my area is Switzerland so I have to put 32 north. This is essential at the very beginning. After that we load into Global Mapper all the important layer that we have produced with IGSoft Metashape. This means we can load the orthophoto and the digital elevation model. You could as well load the point cloud if you intend to manipulate those points. It will not be topic of this uh, presentation, the manipulation of the LiDAR points. Be aware that with the LiDAR points you can as well in Global Mapper produce a digital elevation model or a digital terrain model. Here we have displayed our imagery of rather good resolution as well we have displayed our digital elevation model first step would be to check the quality of this information and for that we need to load the previously saved statistic information picture this picture is not georeferenced unfortunately that's why we have to manually georeference the picture. It is a very easy task in a global mapper. You need to find at least three reference points. Let's take this point here and this one. So those are the two points. We can add those points into the list. Point one. We can take maybe this point here. Point. We add it, point two, and maybe one below this point here. I think it's this one. And we add it. Now we have three points, and this should be enough to georeference this picture. Yes, it is precisely georeferenced. As we know, the blue area has the highest overlapping, it means it has the better quality and for our purpose we consider only the blue area. You can cross check this information looking at the orthophoto. If we look at the imagery of this part, for example, this house here in the middle, where we have high overlapping, the building is nice, it's square and looks very, very real. If you go into the border where we have bad overlapping, you can see that the buildings are not so nicely displayed. That's why it is important to crop out all the area of bad quality. We create a new layer, area feature, just selecting all the blue area you don't need to be very very precise we call it good quality area good quality area it's a new layer called good area good quality that's it fine now we have created this new layer we don't need the statistic picture anymore now we can crop the orthophoto first the way to crop is to select first this new area 
then you click on auto photo layer right click option and cropping and below crop to currently selected polygon and this is done same will apply for the dem for the dem we have the same information the border the quality is bad in the center the quality is much better that's why we crop as well the dem so you select the good quality area you click on them you right click on it option cropping crop to currently selected polygon and we have it now we have displayed only the good part the good quality part of our work fine now we can compare our orthophoto first with the google earth imagery and let's see how it matched with the surrounding we click on online data we go on world imagery we connect of course you need internet connection we put up this one okay and we zoom in we can see that our imagery produced with MetaShape really match with the Google Earth imagery it's really rather precise because we choose the right projection and we choose only the good part of the imagery that's fine at the same time we have to check how our digital elevation model matched with the SRTM elevation model we have this one zoom out and we download the SRTM worldwide elevation data it is very difficult to judge the quality of the two models but you can see how precise the elevation model done by the drone it is compared to the elevation model of the internet but now I would like to show you something interesting if we take the profile from here to here we see a big step we have our drone model the red line and the free digital elevation model the blue line and in between we have almost 25 meters a big difference let's take this point same here we have blue line srtm almost 25 meter difference what does it mean it means that the absolute elevation of, of our model is much higher around 25 meter higher than the digital elevation model of the internet why that this happens because the absolute elevation of the drone is not very precise and as far as i know there is no mean to calibrate this elevation unless you use ground point if you use ground point you increase the quality of the elevation of your model but we have to eliminate this big discrepancy in the elevation there is an easy way to do that you have to insert four reference point and we insert them not on a forest on the top of the forest but we insert them on the terrain one could be here one new layer of course point layer one point here we could put one point here point two same layer we could put one point here point three three okay now we have to give to those three points the elevation based 
on our digital elevation model how we proceed we select the three points we right click on it align measurement apply elevation to selected features okay now these three points receive the elevation we open excel file and we add here the elevation of each single point starting from the digital elevation model of the drone so point one would be with the digitizer tool 1259.14 point two would be 1246.6 1246.6 point 3 would be 1242.3 1242.3 now we give to those point the elevation of the other elevation model from SRTM same process we select the reference point we select this time the SRTM worldwide relation data we right click on the points and analysis measurement apply elevation now we replace the previous elevation with the new elevation value and now it's time to check the elevation we can read the elevation of the single point with the info tool. Point 1, 1,235.96. See the difference? And we see the average twenty six point eleven. So it means we have to decrease the global elevation of our digital elevation model of twenty six point eleven meter. select our digital elevation model we right click on it option alter elevation value minus 26.11 and apply okay now we can see how it lies in relation to the SRTM we can that as well path profile still big step 80 and 9, 12 meter difference we have our digital elevation model is higher 12 meter higher here let's see how it looks like here We are five meter higher and let's see here and we are seven meter higher. Let's go down of seven meter then option alter minus 33 let's see how it looks like now here we have 86 meters still this is not a good place here looks fine 
looks fine we have five meter lower and let's see here and here we are lower I was one meter lower so you can see it's almost impossible to exactly match the two layers together we know that our digital elevation model has a better relative elevation but generally the SRTM has a better absolute elevation we keep it like that if you want to do the watershed analysis considering the surrounding of your location it is important that your developed digital terrain model doesn't have a big difference in elevation with the SRTM model that you download from internet it's time to weld these two system we select the area of good quality we select the digital elevation model we give the elevation to the area of good quality apply elevation turn layer fine and now we have to weld the SRTM with this good quality area so you select SRTM option feathering feathering within the current selected polygons feather outside the polygon rather than inside and ok now let's see how it looks same system we take the have to connect this one path profile this looks good this looks good this is less good where else can we check let's check here this looks somehow good only one meter difference 